The world that we live in is a very, very busy place. Commotion from all angles at all times. And even when we're alone, we have our phones with us. And most people nowadays, they don't go anywhere without their phones. Whether we're going to the restroom, we're going to bed, or we're in the kitchen cooking something, most of us carry our phones everywhere, either reading or listening to something at all times. We've truly forgotten the importance of silence. And I would even argue that most of us have even forgotten what silence really is. And that's a shame because there's a true power and a true magic that we experience when we're in silence. And in this video, we're going to explore what that power is. We're going to discover the incredible benefits and clarity that we can gain from this seemingly uninteresting part of life. So as I mentioned, the world is a very busy and loud place. And it almost seems as if we can't get away from it at times. Especially for those of us who live at home with our parents, or we have roommates, or we live with our significant other, there always tends to be some commotion going on. But it's extremely important that we get away from it from time to time, even if only for a short while, to be alone in complete silence. One of the primary reasons it's so important is that it's like a reset button for your mind, body, and spirit. I mentioned in one of my previous videos on productivity that you can't always work. You can't always be in go mode. You have to rest. You have to give your body the opportunity to recover from the stress that you've put on it. Well, it works the same when it comes to the noisiness in our lives. If we can give ourselves an opportunity to get away from it for a short while, then we can begin to re-energize ourselves. And there's an undeniable sense of peace that you experience when you sit quietly, when you sit in silence. When you can get away from all that commotion, you begin to really understand how simple life really is. Because we tend to complicate it with our packed schedules, our deadlines, our projects, bills, or so many other things that we need to do. But once you tap into that silence, you begin to realize how simple the world truly is. And you begin to also realize how incredibly beautiful that quiet and that silence can be. You immediately get washed over with a sense of calm, peace, clarity, and joy. It's a feeling that you can't experience by being within the chaos of the world. But it can be hard for people, extremely hard. It's almost like we can't do anything unless we have a little bit of noise going on, at least in the background. And so that quiet is an unknown. It's scary, it's intimidating. If you were to take away everyone's phone at this very instant, most people wouldn't know what to do with themselves. Our phones and all of this other technology is an incredible achievement for humanity, but we've come to rely on it too much. It's almost like an addict who needs their fix. You see, the Buddhists have this term called the monkey mind. It's the idea that an untrained mind is always bouncing back and forth from this thing to that thing, from this emotion to that emotion. It can't sit still. The monkey mind is always chattering and running around at 100 miles a minute. It's almost like a microcosm of the world around us. Now, one specific way that you can tap in to the benefits of silence is through something like meditation. This is something that I've talked a lot about on this channel and will continue to talk a lot about as time goes on. Meditation gives us a clear task and guideline on what to do within the silence. For example, we can focus on our breath. In this form of meditation, focusing on your breath, many times called Zen meditation, can be a lot easier for folks to understand rather than something like mindfulness meditation, which is simply just a state of being quiet and noticing things that are going on around you, either in your mind or truly around you, the sounds that are happening. But both will nonetheless provide you with that same peaceful feeling of clarity once you allow the quiet to settle in. That said, what is meditation anyway? Well, meditation in its most basic form is the act of simply focusing your attention on something. It doesn't necessarily mean sitting cross-legged on a cushion on the floor. 
Meditation can be things like writing or even just thinking about a particular subject very intently focusing on that subject for a certain period of time. Historical examples of written meditations include meditations on first philosophy by Rene Descartes or meditations by Marcus Aurelius. They're a piece of work where the author expresses their deepest feelings, emotions, and thoughts about a specific topic. And those topics can range from anything from love to science to how to live a good life to so many different things. And this form of meditation through writing can arguably show us even greater results because it allows us to discover ourselves by sitting in silence to really tap in to who we are. It gives us an opportunity to think, to really process our thoughts, our emotions, and our ideas into a cohesive entity. I've mentioned this before in a previous video, and that is that most people don't know themselves. Now, I'm not here to bash anybody, but most of us don't ever ask ourselves, why do we feel the way we feel? Why do we have the certain beliefs that we have? Where does this ultimately come from? And much of what we believe tends to come from the environment that we are raised in and that we live in. And it comes from the people that we're surrounded by. We essentially take on the personalities, the views, and the ideas of the people around us. And that's completely normal. It happens to all of us. But how often do you stop, do you sit in silence, in complete quiet, and ask yourself, what do I believe deep down? How often do you ask yourself, how strongly do I truly feel about this thing? Why do I love this? And why do I hate this? Meditation through writing or simply through sitting there and thinking deeply about a specific topic allows us to get to know ourselves much better in order to become more intelligent and to become wiser. It gives us a chance to face our problems, to face the things that we may be hurt by internally that may be bothering us within. That's why all of this noise and commotion can be a bad thing if it's the only thing that you ever experience because it doesn't give you the opportunity to process those internal things that you may be dealing with in order to eventually overcome them. That is the power of silence. And what most people do is they use this noise and use this commotion and use their busy schedules to run away from those problems that they may be feeling inside. Well, running away from your problems isn't going to make them go away. It's not going to fix them. In fact, it can make them much worse. So silence is an incredible tool for mental health, for becoming happier. And an additional thing that silence can do is that it can boost creativity. By taking time out of your day to stop and think, you give yourself an opportunity to process questions that you may have or certain challenges that you may be dealing with at the moment. You see, a lot of times we may try to overcome a particular challenge by doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. Well, through silence, we can boost our creativity in order to come up with different ways to overcome those challenges. And it's only when we stop and take the opportunity to think and get away from our problems that we can ultimately come up with the solution for them. And many times we end up even realizing how simple that solution really is, but we just couldn't see it when we were in the thick of it, when we were amongst the commotion. And on top of this, silence gives us the opportunity to simply do nothing. This is something that is incredibly foreign to most people nowadays. We hear a lot about being on the go, about constantly working, about constantly doing different things. And look, I completely agree that hard work should be a part of our lives. It's something that we should always tap into. We should always work hard for the things that we want, but we also need time for rest. We need time for quiet. We need an opportunity to sit in silence because by doing so, we can then give ourselves a chance to re-energize ourselves in order so that we can then go back into the world 
and perform better. I'll close with this. There's something called a wilderness solo where you go out into the woods, into the forest on your own. You make a little circle, uh, not too big, and you confine yourself into that circle for one to three days. No phone, no internet, no writing notes, no reading, no nothing. Just you and nature. I have experience with something similar to this, but not this exactly. But ultimately what people gain is a sense of clarity, calm, peace, and a feeling of truly being rested. Because you see all of this commotion that we experience in our day-to-day -day lives can make us feel restless. Ultimately, we can't find a sense of peace within the chaos. But if we can tap into silence, then we can begin to bring that peace into our lives. Ultimately, that is the video. I do hope that you can uh, appreciate this notion of being silent and really getting away from the commotion of the world. If you enjoyed it, hit that like and subscribe button. Also ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all new videos. Feel free to comment below if you have any thoughts or questions. And as always folks, improve your body, improve your mind, improve the world.